Hello everybody and welcome again to Lockdown Made Easy with the really cool team. Today we have a special episode because Father's Day is just around the corner so I would like to show you some quick, easy and fun arts and crafts to do with your little ones and if you forgot that Father's Day is coming you have still two more days and I was thinking of the uh, ideas of creating some arts and crafts that's very easy uh, doesn't involve loads of materials and you can just do it with me even now or when you have a spare 10 minutes so let's have a look what I have prepared for you so number one a very simple art and craft idea for which you will only need some colored paper and your child's hands. You're going to trace your child's hands, um, two of them, okay? And then on one of them, you're going to write dad and on one you're going to write I love you. Very easy, yeah? Then the next thing you do, you take um, any A4 paper, or it can be longer, the longer the better, and you fold it, you fold it into small pieces, so it's like a harmonica, you see? Now, I will show you what we're going to do with this then, okay? So you fold it into small pieces, so when you open it up, it's like this. And then inside, you write this much, okay? So you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten folds, ten compartments, because we need the two to be left free to attach them to the hands. So when you do that, you then take a glue stick and you put it on both sides, here and here, and then you attach it to the middle of the palm of the hand, you see? So what the child is going to hand to their dad is the lovely hand. And when he opens it, it will say, I love you this much, dad. You see, very cute and very simple. Of course, it works for any other occasion, but um, you can, yeah, you can use your child's uh, hands and it's, and it's really cute and the kids will have lots of fun making it as well. So you go, I love you this much. So that was idea number one. The other idea that I had, because I was looking around, what can we use? And I thought of using rocks, any rocks. I already pre-painted them, uh, just simple white, but you can paint them any color. So if you have um, a rock, a nice oval rock, uh, we live uh, near the sea, so it's easy to uh, source them. And then a black marker. Um, there are two ideas with the rocks. So on one, you can just write, my dad rocks. And then ask your child, if you have a little child, ask your child to dip their finger in some paint and decorate the rock around it, different colors with the fingerprints. Very easy, but this will be a beautiful keepsake and a beautiful rock to keep. And I'm sure that dad will be very happy to, to own such a, such a rock that says, my dad rocks. Now, oh, my rock just fell down, so I'm going to leave it to dry here. And another idea with the rock is to take a rock like that and um, again, paint it, so just give it a background, and then take, some, uh, take a marker and try to draw something on the rock, such as um, like your dad, you know, so maybe a moustache or glasses or hair or whatever you want. Oh, so my little guy looks like that, okay? And then you can take a card, fold in half, and here, uh, at the front of the card, you write, Dad, you are my rock. And when you attach this rock here, 
So you put it like that as a present. You put like, make little hands and legs and the picture of your dad as a rock. And then it has such a powerful message. Dad, you are my rock. It's really, really cute. And then you can put some wishes inside or whatever else you want to give. I'm sure the dads will really appreciate that. So that's another idea. And the last one they have here for you is um, if you if the dad is somebody who is very handy and likes fix, fixing stuff, uh, you can get the tools out of his toolbox. So I chose a hammer. It's a, it's a handy little small hammer, pliers and some screwdriver. I hope I'm holding them uh, properly. So choose the um, some of the of the tools that he's using that he's familiar with, and then it depending on the age of the child, you can ask the kids to trace them. Just put them on a piece of paper and trace them, or you trace them for them, and cut them out. So you see, I got here the screwdriver, the pliers, and the little and the little hammer, and then you take a big white piece of uh, paper. Fold it in half and then you write in the middle, if dad can't fix it, nobody can. And then you stick those um, tools that you cut out. You can arrange them any way you want. Uh, if they stick out from the page, they, they give it like a 3D dimension. So it's, so it's nice that way. They don't have to, don't worry if they don't fix, uh, don't fit properly on the page. Doesn't really matter. Uh, the idea is that the dad will see his own tools and he will feel so nice and important because what we're saying is that if he can fix it, nobody else can't. Uh, so I'm sure he'll be very proud of himself. You can decorate it any way you want. This is just a little idea. What can you do? And of course, then inside you can put your Father's Day wishes. So there you go. It four arts and crafts ideas in less than seven minutes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that was our part of Lockdown Made Easy of the really cool team. Uh, we would like to wish all the fathers a fantastic Father's Day and a happy, wonderful family time. And uh, all of you guys, if you liked, uh, if you liked our video, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we can be found on YouTube under Really Cool After School. And you can join our parenting support group, which is on Facebook. Uh, and it's called Surviving at Home with a Toddler. And you can like us on Facebook and on Instagram as Really Cool After School. Thank you for watching. Bye.